Hi there, my name is Becky and I run the Beast Blood for the University of Minnesota Bee Lab. And we are going to make mite monitoring fun again today. We're going to go ahead and start and test this hive right here. So we're going to do a powdered sugar roll test. And we are going to take a frame from the brood nest because that's where the mites prefer to be. And we're looking for a frame that has both open and sealed brood. So I'm going to make a little bit of room and then I'm going to go a little bit more into the center of the hive box to find the right frame. And it looks like I have a great frame right here. So I've got my test kit. I've got my jar to collect the bees with a screen lid. I want to have this ready before I start because once I have those bees in the cup, I want to make sure I can put them into the jar and collect them. So here we go. Now 100 milliliters of bees is about 300 bees. So I'm going to get up to 100 mils on this cup. And did I check for the queen? I did, but I didn't tell you that I checked for it. Don't forget to check for the queen. There we go. We've got about 300 bees in this sample. I'm going to put this frame back. And then screw the lid on tightly. And we need to put two tablespoons of powdered sugar into these bees, onto these bees, because the powdered sugar acts like a dust that will actually dislodge the varroa mites. So we just easily put it onto the top, and that was a little low. So let's see, I want a heaping one right now. Bridget from the Bee Squad is going to play us something. Do you have something you can play for us, Bridget? I do. I actually learned the Game of Thrones theme song just for this event. Is that I not fun? Students.
So now we just have to finish up with the sample. So next thing we have to do is we have to shake the bees. Now we're going to be looking for the mites that fall through the screen. And what we need to do is shake them for a minute. And because nobody likes to shake bees, I always time this part. And here we go.